Hello, welcome to the Hockey with Ice YouTube channel. I am Matt and this is a review roundup video from the live stream on Wednesday, March 20th. Now the live stream was covering the Swedish Hockey League relegation playoff series game three between Oskarsham and Horvier Hattiet. The series is finally poised one win apiece after the first two games. So both teams are looking to get the advantage 2-1 in the best of seven game series. The first period ended goalless. However, there were opportunities at both ends of the ice. For Oskarsham, their second line was really good. In particular, Victor Lodin, big on the aggressive forecheck, creating opportunities for his team. He was doing really well. The biggest opportunity of the period, however, went to Horvier Hertiet and Oscar Stroll Lirines. Great opportunity for him. He did well with it, but his shot hit the bar. So goalless after the first 20 minutes. We join the live stream and join the game in the second period. So Victor Lodin's penalty doesn't cost Oscar Schum. And the job for them now will be to use the momentum from those two penalty kills to push them on offensively. They're trying to start that off. Nick Gerdeson doing a good job on the boards. Really hard work. They did brilliantly to keep hold of the puck under a lot of pressure. And now they're trying to work the opportunity. Shot on net and it's in. Brilliant. Brilliant work by them. Nick Olison started it with some great work on the boards. Brilliant stuff. He was under so much pressure, but he was able to keep on the puck. It's Heinex Ahorna who has tucked it home. It was a shot on net, and then Heinex Ahorna was able to put home the rebound. And that is one to nothing for Uskashum. You're now trying to get down the other end of the ice with Nick Erlison. Ooh, there's a coming together between Nick Erlison and Olvier player, but the play on, and now Olvier are coming back at them. Shot on net. Dealt with comfortably by Thomas Reed and end about now there's a breakaway. Here's a chance for Oskarshum. Big chance. Great save. Frederick Dickow. Brilliant save. It was Artie Oxenen who had the opportunity. He was all alone. Nice pass down to him. Quick breakaway. Dickow was strong for Horvier. Made sure that didn't go in, but Oskarshum are coming again. Ooh, air shots and now Horvier are going back. It's back and forth. Brilliant action here. In the relegation playoff. Battle on the boards. Battle on the boards. Good stuff. A couple of them down on the ice now. Wow. Big opportunity there. Artie Oxenen. Through on goal. Oh, there. Oh, that stool Lirinus was waiting for it again. He's found himself into some great positions so far in this game. Puck didn't get to him that time. And he slapped his stick on his way back to the bench. Bit frustrated that it didn't come to him. Here they come. Oh, great opportunity, and it's a goal. Horvier have equalised. It is number 67. Oliver Kasky puts it home. The Horvier travelling fans are up on their feet. Great finish by Kasky. The defenseman steps up, slams it home on a wrist shot, and that is the equaliser. Uskashim one, Horvier one. Thomas Reed then looks back and looks up at the screen, waiting to see quite what happened. It was a good rush down the left hand side. Nice bit of play. Pings across. Kasky was all alone. Nobody picked him up. And he made no mistake. The pass coming across to him by Colby Sissons. One defenseman to another. Puts it home. And it's Oskarshim 1, Horvier 1. Oskarshim maybe one last chance at the end of the second period. Working it around. Trying to shoot it on there. It goes wide. Almost deflected in an awkward way. But that is going to do it for the second period. And a really good, entertaining second period it was. Two. One goal apiece. Uskashim taking the lead. Victor Lodin has been all over this game, both offensively and on the forecheck. And it was his shot that was dealt with OK by Dickow in the Jorge goal. But he next to Hornet was there to knock home the rebound to give Uskashim the lead. But then Jorge have got back. 
through defenseman Oliver Kasky. Lovely finish by him. Oliver Skushin will be disappointed that they left him all free and open to knock that one home. Opportunities from there for both teams. It's been a good period and brilliantly set up for the third period here. It's such a big game. Third game in a best of seven series. It's tied one apiece so far. Who is going to get the advantage today? Who's going to win the third period? Who's going to take the 2-1 series lead? It's going to be an interesting one. So much good action already. You get the feeling that it's just bubbling up and it's going to be even better in the third. Oh, come together. Now, Horvier have it. It's come loose. Shot pushed to one side. Thomas Reedon having to keep composed. Uh, Horvier doing a good job of keeping it in the Oskarsham zone. They're trying to regroup, trying to go again. Here they come, Brunstrom flicks it on net. Good save again from Breeden. Ooh, almost another opportunity. And Rick Brunstrom is starting to get involved. And now shot in front. Oh, Andre Petter, Sean, the Horvier captain, had an opportunity right out in front of the Oskarsham crease. Thomas Reed end was able to stone him. But that was a chance. Borostrom winding it around the boards. Lovely little pass out to Andre Petachon by Nick Shaw. And good save. He was big, made himself big, got himself on top of Petachon. I know just seeing on the replay, Petachon is looking at himself, shouting at himself, saying, oh, big opportunity. But they come again, Duhovic. Oh, unlucky. Oh, here come Oskarsham. Stick break on the shot from the blue line. And Oskarsham come in and score! What a goal! And what a turnaround! An unfortunate series of events for Horvier. But it is Oskarsham 2, Horvier 1. It was a chance at the blue line for Horvier. Shot attempted. The stick exploded. And Austin Wagner took the puck, said, thank you very much. I'll take it down the other end. And absolutely rifled a shot. Past Dickow. That is Oskarsham 2, Horvier 1. 10 minutes 28 to go in the third period. Every second counts, right? Four minutes 10 to go. Just a one goal lead for Oskarsham. Everyone knows how important this game is in this series. Good defensive work by Scenic Sahorna. Enix and now it's a two on one opportunity for Oskarsham. Shoots. Oh, puts it wide. Possibly should have passed there. Easy to say when you're watching. But it was a two on one chance for Oskarsham. And now there's some pushing and shoving. You don't need to get involved in that. Son of a Kasky for Horvit. And frankly, he's been involved in a few little confrontations so far. Not happy he did get knocked down, actually. That's a silly little move by Kasky, but just seeing a replay, ooh, I don't know. Nick Erlison took the shot. It wasn't really very close. And he had the man himself, Victor Lodine, there for the pass. If you're going to take the shot there, you've got to get it on target. And he missed, and it wasn't that close for re relative to the, uh, the calibre of players we're talking about. He missed by quite a margin. Well, that come back to bite them. Big chance for a Horvier, and they score. It's immediately come back to bite them. Lovely little pass. And it's been tucked away. It has silenced the Big E Hockey Centre. Other than the corner of Horvier fans who are going mad. Three minutes 22 to go. Horvier equalise. It is number 17, Isaac Brenstrom, who has got it. And this game just keeps on giving, keeps on coming. Brilliant action. It was down in the corner. Engson had it. Great forecheck by Tommy Tika. Smashed into him. They were able to win the puck with Horvier. Lovely little pass. And there it is. Tucks it away. Brilliant goal. Brilliant finish by um, 
Brandstrom, lovely, goes through his legs. Oh, always a good feeling. That's the, that's the shooter there when you tuck it through the legs. Tommy Tika, brilliant work by him. It was his forecheck that set it all up. Won the puck for Horvier, and that's got them back in it. 2-2, two, two, three minutes, 22 to go. Drama. There we are. Woo, take a deep breath. That is the end of regulation time. Oskarsham 2, Horvier 2. Late equaliser for Horvier. Through Isaac Brenström. Has made it 2-2. Two, two. And of course, this isn't your normal quick turnaround. Five minutes of fun and see if there's a shootout. We have a full-on intermission and a 20-minute period to come. Flipping it round the boards, but it doesn't go to one of their players, so Horvier will just dump it in. Although that's well defended by Oskarsham, so they can regain control of the puck in their own zone. And now try to enter the Horvier zone, and they do. Oscar Enzoom just skating it in. And they're trying to pile under pressure. And they've done a good job on the floor check there to win the puck back. Lodin tries to set up. Oh, it's another opportunity. That second line is really firing for them. Good work by Victor Lodin, but the shot went wide. Here they come again. Good little period for Oskarsham here. Heinrich's a Hornet working along the boards, but well defended. So Aaron stick on the ice, getting in the way in the Horvier's zone, but I should get cleared up now as they come out up into the Oskarsham zone. Oh, there's a chance down Broad Street and it's a goal! Oscar Stuhl Lirines. He's been the main man for Horvier, had so many opportunities in this game, was so unlucky in the first period hitting the bar. He has just won it. What a win. Scenes going on right now. They've rushed to the corner where the Horvier travelling fans are. They're slamming on the glass. Incredible finish. Oscar Stuhl Lirides had the puck. He was there, wide open in the centre of the ice. The puck came to him. He fired it home. And that is a 3-2 win for Horvier Hetiet. Brilliant game. A brilliant finish. He's been one of the most likely men to put the puck in the back of the net throughout this game. And he has done it at the end and won it. He has done it and won it for Horvier. We're watching the replay. Good work along the boards. The puck comes out to him. There's no one near him. And he fires it home. Brilliant, brilliant finish on the wrist shot. It was Raden Lentz who went down the left. Good work from him. The puck actually deflected out to Stuhl Lirines, and he just took his time, picked his spot, and fired it in. Oh, Thomas Reed there may feel he could have done a little bit better with it, but Lirines doesn't matter to him at all. Goes crazy. Frederick Dickow comes across to celebrate with him. They all pile into the corner. What a finish. What an end to the game. What a game it's been. That's a big blow for Oskarsham. No doubt about that. They're going to have to pick themselves up off the ice and go again in two days' time to try and level up the Series 2-2. But right now, it is Horvier Hattiet who have gained the advantage. They win this one 3-2 in overtime. 2-1 down with just over three minutes to go. They equalise, force it to overtime. And now Oscar Stahl, Lirines has won it. Dramatic scenes, brilliant game, brilliant finish. Not if you're an Oskarsham fan, of course, but great game of hockey and a wonderful advert for Swedish hockey. This one was brilliant stuff. I'm out of breath. What a great game we got to witness there. Thanks for watching. If you've been watching live, if you're here, um, do click subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are reminded when we go live. But we will be back tomorrow evening not sure which of the two games we will be focusing on. I'll probably be, have both of them on and try and keep on top of both. It is Varius Dodd against Regler and Vekwe against... Mine's gone blank. Lulua. <laughs>
<laughs> it's been a big old evening, hasn't it? What an end to that game. Congratulations to Horvitz. They take a 2-1 series lead. Let's see if Oskarshum can bounce back from that disappointment on Friday evening. Until then, thanks for watching our Hockey with Ice as always. I'll see you very soon. Hopefully tomorrow night for some more Swedish Hockey League playoff action as we're in the quarterfinal stage at the top of the league.